I right, chat, I've put I've put my players or I've put a list, chat, who I believe is gonna finish one to whatever in the in the Ballon d'Or. So this is this is B Ballon d'Or official theory. So this is who's gonna win. So this is Ballon d'Or 2024. Evening spoiler. Thoughts on West Ham's business so far. I haven't even kept up to date, mate, with club transfers yet. And this is the rest, basically. I mean, there's no need to make tears in it. We'll just do like one, two. We'll just do like one, two, one to ten. Um, or twelve, I think there are here. Uh, by the way, for those wondering where, where extraterrestrial is, he's on vacation. He's on vacation. So, unfortunately, um, we're not going to probably see him for like two weeks. Um, I'll start. <clears throat> so, remember the conditions and the criteria. This is based on 23-24 um, season. So, including the international trophies, um, it ended exactly on Sunday. So, it basically went from the very first day of 23 until Sunday. These are the players chat who I believe should be in contention um, ranking wise. So for example, let's do let's do like this and then we'll rank them. Foden chat um, because of the bad Euros. I think I think he's at the board. I don't think he's in consideration. I'll be honest with you. I think the Euros have fucked him completely. So I think he's out 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 completely. Um, Rodri, let, let's, let's not put the Ballon d'Or yet. And I'll tell you guys who, in my opinion, is between. Um, and, and the ones that have a chance. So the, the ones here have a chance to win it. And then I'll tell you guys the, 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 the exact order of, of how it will be. Good evening. Thank you, Tyne. Give El Toro his Ballon d'Or. Boca Juniors, you have been in defense of his. You and Richie since day one. I respect you. Um, chat, Tony Cruz. The people that say Tony Cruz for Ballon d'Or do not listen to them because these guys wouldn't know football if it slapped them in the face same thing with Kane as Foden the horrible European Championship has wiped them out to the point where it's impossible for them to be in consideration impossible <laughs> chat is the Euros enough for Yamal to go over these two I don't think I I I I, 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 I think it's too, I think it's too I think it's too early. I think it's too early. I think I think he's below. I think he's below because Ch we can't be too reactionary. As a, as a as a season, I think he's behind. I think he's behind because keep in mind it, these two were were the central to the club's success. Yamal with club achieve nothing. This is a grown man who confines in a stuffed teddy and has never had a female's touch and we expect him to formulate a proper response on racism. This dirty greasy pig. <laughs> this guy has donated about, I'm not even joking, 35 euros just slated me. Thank you for the money. I'll have takeaway Friday on you. Um, if you want to add a little bit more, I can, I'm thinking about potentially getting like that, that television that I couldn't win. So if you, if you too kind to give a little bit more, um, because at the moment, unfortunately, I'm kind of like, I, I, I don't really have money to spend because I'm in debt and I need to pay off my mortgage. But if, if you can keep going, I, I can maybe get the, the, the hundred inch laser TV. Was, uh, you know I'm, I tried to win it with the Euros but I couldn't win it so it is what it is uh, chat do you guys think William Saliba's Euros was enough to overtake these two I, I, I don't think so I think, I think he remains somewhere there I think he remains somewhere there like over the season s s some, somewhere there fantastic Euros very consistent but not enough not enough. Can someone shut this dog? Below Yamar. Who you think below Yamar? Madhu. Rudiger. Chat. Chat. Upper opinion? I think it should be like that. I think it should be like that. I think Rudiger. Best 
best defender in the world. We can all agree on that. Best, best in the back in the world this season. I think it's fair that he's there in, in that convo, like somewhere there, in, in beat it. You know, remarkable season, best in your position, best in your position. By the way, D doesn't mean bad here, Benny. It doesn't mean bad. If we just we just we just sorting them. We just sorting them. Florian Vert. Eight here for sure. I heard Viren tried holding a baby and it tried to suck his tits. You fat slob, get back to the gym and lay off the intranet. You know what you are, oh we. Cold, cold. Cold. V1 got wrecked. Um, Mbappe chat, C. C. On, indi on individual. Your disaster of an iPhone hmm. game not paying you enough, you bum. Get a real job and stop shagging your stuff, alien buddy. Chat, individual ability is enough to put him ahead. In my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, but in my opinion, it's enough to put him C. No. No, no, no. Let me rearrange. Let's rearrange. Let's rearrange. Let's rearrange it a little bit. Because... Jack... Jack... Yeah, I think it should be something like this. Because on individual ability, yeah, I think his is still much superior to these. Isn't it? Much, much superior to these. P purely on... I, 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 I purely, purely. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, this is the official Ballon d'Or list that we have to hand to FIFA. Um, let's... <laughs> let me think. So... From this list, if we're going to rearrange this list, are we all in agreement that he has to drop? Are we all in agreement that Vinicius Jr. should not be anywhere near a Ballon d'Or? At least not in 2024. Drake says no. But why? But why, chat? But, but chat is the most overrated season I've ever seen from a player. Missed most of the season. Where can someone get me Amori? Where's Amori? Missed most of the season. Turned up in a couple of Champions League matches. In the final, nowhere to be seen. Miss hits the shot and it goes in. And people want to say Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or on what? What Ballon d'Or? What Ballon d'Or? I don't understand. What in the flying flip is Messi doing there? He's been go. in USA getting obese the last year and had more expected tears than goals and assists at the Copa? Remove that drug abusing midget from this tier list before your mum take your internet connection. Racist, receding hairline, moves, acne riddled greasy skin, beer belly, your whole are of a mutter disowned you. Now money laundering via shitty goals, you waste of sperm. We're dropping Vinicius. We're dropping Vinicius into B. <sighs> Unfortunately, Messi, I don't think it's going to win this year's Ballon d'Or. So let's move him for now to the side. He'll obviously going to remain in A tier purely based on individual ability, as well as the fact that he still won a major trophy. But I don't think he's going to be winning a Ballon d'Or. 
in 2024. I think number nine is not happening. It probably is the end. Florian Wirtz. In, in my opinion, he remains there just ahead of Messi. I don't know why people are not speaking enough about him. I don't get it. Me personally, I must be missing something because I don't get it. He stand up in the Euros, even though he was being played out of position, wasn't even starting towards the end. And he still, when his country needed him the most, he was the one that stepped up. He was the one that put his team on his back. And if you look at the individual season, based on football ability... Instead of using that money on a TV, use it on a hair transplant. Yeah. I might be a FIFA nerd, but at least I am not balding. You're admitting it. You're you admitting it. You're admitting it. You were 30 you're admitting and they it. finally you're kicked admitting you out it. and paid your rent. You're admitting it. They couldn't take the sight you're of you. You're admitting it. You're admitting it. There's nothing worse than that. You're admitting it. Idiot. You literally admitted it. You're there in July playing that shit. What the fuck are you doing with your life? What are you doing, Ray? Grow up. See, when are you going to grow up, Ray? Seriously. It's fucking 2024 and you're still playing that shit. What, what the fuck are you doing with your life? I don't understand. You're watching. You only get to live once and you're watching it just fly past you. I don't get it. You don't know shit about football. You don't actually love the sport because you only watch the big games. So what are you doing? Play? You shit at the game. What the fuck are you doing? Play? I don't understand. What, what? What? It doesn't make any sense. Kind sir, it is a nice change up to be done the international matches and be able to revert to hearing your little mosquito voice yap about <laughs> subjects you know nothing about. Also chat, ET is on top in their relationship. Let's get it right. Did she say mosquito voice? What, what the fuck is a mosquito voice? <laughs> Anyways. So verse goes there. No. No. Jude Bellingham, third. You ask what am I? I am a hair model for a shampoo company, something only you can dream of being. <laughs> this guy's obsessed with hair. <laughs> Congratulations, Wavey. Congratulations. Guess what? Guess what? I can get this fixed whenever I want. You're five foot two. You're five foot two. You can't get your shit fixed. You can't you can't remove that acne. You little Little Ray down there, you can't do anything about that. So congratulations on your perfect hairline. Congratulations. That's going to get you so far in life. Congratulations. You dirty scummy people rat. Fucking girls have to look down upon you, cretin. This guy donating gives me Luca vibes. Oh my days, MCFC makes a big bombasso. Low key, I think you're right. Oh my days, you're right. He speaks like him as well. Oh my days, it's Luka Doncic. Oh, I should have knew. It's Luka Doncic. <laughs> no, don't kill me, Doncic. Doncic, you can come back as yourself. We're not going to judge you. We're not going to judge you. What are you calling yourself these days? Lex. Lex. We're not going to judge you, Lex. Come on, man. Come on. Come back, man. We miss you, man. Come on. There's no need to, to hide under and behind an Elias. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Carvajal won everything this year and is still below Messi. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, so that by your logic, Nacho should be ahead of Messi then, right? By your logic, you stupid idiot. <laughs> You're so dumb, man. I don't understand how you guys have made it so far in life, man. Anyways, this is the order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one question left. Who is the Ballon d'Or winner? 2024, winner? you're pushing 30. And molest the stuffed alien, your dirty skull. There he is, Donchich. Donchich, come on, man. How you been, man? 
I've missed you. I've missed you. Ignore the chat, man. These guys can be ruthless, but you know, they're just like, they're just yap, yap, yap. Um, now then, back in September of 2023, I told the chat, watch out. Myself and Richie, as well as Kyrie, we told the chat, watch out because Lautaro Martinez is in contention for the Ballon d'Or. They laughed. We told them the same in October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. As recently as last week, I mentioned his name and they laughed. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> the Premters compared him to Gabriel Jesus. Ivan Tony, Kai Havertz. <laughs> it's between two. Rodri or Lautaro Martinez. Who is the deserved 2024 Ballon d'Or? What's up for us? Do you have an opinion? Vinny below Messi and Lamine Yamal above Saliba, both genuine war crimes. You should be tried in court. How do we determine the correct winner? Do you guys remember? When they were disrespecting Lautaro Martinez at the World Cup. Four Eyes was one of them. And I told you, he's playing injured. And you compare him to Higuain. You compare him to Aguero. He's eclipsed them all. He's eclipsed them all. Now, when it comes to a head-to-head -head duel like this. For, between players from different positions. Kurt, please stop yapping. I had to get mosquito spray because I thought I had a mosquito in my room. It's obvious what the tier uh -huh. list is going to be. You're going to put black players at the bottom and Lauti on top. So please move on. Oh. <clears throat> when you're comparing two players, the criteria is very simple. Attackers automatically start with a 25%, 30% advantage. They have to, because their job is harder than the other positions on the pitch. Simple, period, facts. If you've played football, you would understand. Now, so Lautaro's already ahead, just based on that. Just based on that. Now, consistency. Rodri has been more consistent than Lauti this season. Lauti had a glimpse. He fell between March and May. Lautaro Martinez, his form went down. Rodri stayed consistent throughout the entire season. However, if we compare the months, Lauti, in my opinion, reached a higher peak than Rodri, especially in the months September to December. So that is all stuff that has to be acknowledged and factored in. Now, both won their respective leaks Rodri has more accolades because his club played in obviously more tournaments the club world cup being one of them where Rodri was player of the tournament the UEFA super cup where Rodri was man of the match so that is all stuff we have to put towards Rodri's side now the international tournament Rodri won the player of the tournament in my opinion slightly undeserved i think it should have been him he came off in the final lautaro martinez finished top scorer of the tournament despite not starting 
most of the games. I don't think I have ever seen that in a tournament before, where someone finishes top scorer despite not starting most of the matches. Then we look at the final performance. If we're going to isolate it purely on the final game, Rodri came off at halftime. He was one of the best players on the pitch. Olmo almost started more games than he didn't. Lauti literally started only once. Almost started four, five times. It's not comparable. Anyways, Rodri was one of the best players on the pitch before he came off. Lauti only got given extra time, came on in a nil-nil game and decided the game. For that, are we in agreement with doing that or no? I'm open to pulling it, but I feel like you guys will, as always, be biased. I have just returned from New Zealand and your phenomenal ball knowledge helped me impress Thank the Kiwis you. during the Euros. Thank you, Aiden. You I too. I traveled guy. through Dubai and must say MC is such a handsome man with a beautiful country. Did you? Such a Cold. Much love, Aiden. Much love. Trey said it. No, but we can't pull it because you guys are going to be, you guys are going to do what you always do though. Theodore says W. Are we all in agreement that Lautaro Martinez 2024 Bombasso from Kyrie. He says Sir Rodri is the one. Yeah, but chat, chat. Chat, call it like it is though. Chat. Chat. There's no way that's that. Chat. There's no way there's that much of a discrepancy. That's the thing. They are their people, right? Jude wins it before Lauti. No chance. Are you crazy? It's between two players. Listen, chat, listen. I would have Rodri won Lauti too. You think Lauti will lose by only seven points? If you were a City fan, they'd vote for Lauti. That's, that's what I'm saying, Richie. Listen, chat, I'm, I'm not going to cry about it. If you want to do that, uh, that's not a problem with me. That's not a problem with me. If you guys want to do that, that's not a problem with me. That's perfectly fine. However, I will say this. I've been vindicated. Richie, Richie, we've been vindicated either way. We've been vindicated either way because we said he's fighting for the Ballon d'Or throughout the whole season and we got laughed at. We got do you remember after we, after we went out against Atletico? Do you remember? Do you remember what they were saying? These dumb, filthy preemptors. Do you remember what they were saying? We've been vindicated. We've been vindicated. For him to finish top two, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. We win. We win. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. Jude is ahead of Lauti 100%. Based on what, you stupid idiot. Based on what? How can you come up with a statement like that, Spud? I don't understand you. I don't get it. Bellingham in, in Ballon d'Or in 2024. Are you crazy? Bellingham may end up being a better player than Lautaro. Sure. Not in 2024. That's for damn sure. Are you crazy? You guys freaking think this is based on fucking wonder kids and shit. In that, in that case, then you put Yamal up there, no? <laughs> Man said Jude Bellingham ahead of Lautaro Martinez. Are you crazy? Tweet it. Chat, you always do this. It's like... That's not a problem. Chat, you, you guys think, you guys act like I'm scared. That's not a problem. Fuck. Not share it. There's a download. That's not a problem. You guys act like I'm scared, bro. Not a problem. Not a problem. Official 
Ballon d'Or 23-24 list. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no debates. No debates. No debates whatsoever. Nobody can even argue with that either. Nobody. Nobody. And that's not the final.